So now we head down down under to a different type of bike racing. If you uh, have listened to the show before, that we uh, usually talk about the Pedal Pre Series, the UESA, yes. Australian HPV Super Series. They had their round of four at uh, the Shell V Power Motorsport Park this weekend. They used the West layout, uh, which, is my, layout. which is my personal favourite. Um, and it was a fantastic race. Unfortunately, I wasn't there to commentate, but I took my son there uh, for a dad day. Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, oh. He loved it. Uh, 194 bikes in total competed this weekend, uh, which is the largest um, so far this year. Um, last round in Victoria Park, we had um, about 210, but they're all split up into separate days of racing. Um, so in terms of all together, uh, this is the biggest one. And wow. uh, it's um, pretty exciting. It was an eight-hour event. Uh, the race was pretty exciting. The weather was great. Um, given how it was raining the day before, I was quite worried actually heading into Friday night when it was bucketing down. Yes. I was like, that's not going to be good. But uh, no, it was actually really, really nice. It wasn't too hot, too cold. There was no wind whatsoever. It was fantastic. Uh, and the racing was just as exciting. We had a, probably almost up to 5,000 people attend the event, which is sensational. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just dive straight into the results, why don't we? Um, so it was a cracking race for the top three. Uh, team Uni SA, they're still itching for their first win as a team. It's their second full time season. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it done. They did get off to a great start and led the first chunk of the race, um, but they needed a tire change when I was there, mm. um, which it's got to say, it's no easy feat. Like, it was amazing watching these guys. Hop, they hop out the bike, lift the bike up, change the rear tire. Um, I couldn't do that. Do <laughs> no, the chain. And, yeah, they yeah, lift yeah, it all yeah. up. Oh, it was unbelievable. So, now kudos to them and the whole – everyone involved. It's sensational. Um, they did it in pretty speedy time as well. Mm. Um, and what, the way they lift it up, it makes it look like the bike weighs nothing. So, yeah. there you go. But, uh, now they they uh, managed to bring it home in second place. But Waddle, Gunya, um, they managed to win the Bend 8-hour um now they won last time we were here in may uh, and they won the year before as well i believe uh they've won every event except for the victoria park event where they actually got a um a flat tire at the end of the race uh they were leading by two laps uh came in to get the tire changed and they lost the race by two laps oh. so it's it's just motorsport isn't it yeah um it's a real shame but uh, now this is redemption in a way i like to call it for them uh winning three laps ahead um, so they had a faultless race. UniSA, like I said, second place. Aurora Racing uh, finished third place. Now, they had a tricky one. Uh, they actually pitted quite a few times earlier in the, in the race, apparently. Um, now, they won uh, in Victoria Park last time out because of Waddle. Yep. Um, but, uh, yeah, no. A day, uh, they still get on the podium, so it's, it's still happy days. But, uh, obviously, you know, that win is very important but uh in terms of the rest of the categories we've got a total of seven including that one just then so we move on to category six from aero one aero racing they claim the victory for that one uh the c5 vispa from wimra hpv racing club uh they is a lot of these uh, names uh, actually won uh last time out in victoria park as well yes um they're all fantastic bunch um c4 is the juniors so basically under 13s uh the sa great from pembroke school claimed the win for that one uh and then we go on to the rest of the school category so s3 that's what the s stands for c is community um so there you go c7 basically means anyone over 20 but um yeah there you go but uh yeah, C S3 is Centurion from Pembroke School. As you see, Pembroke kind of dominated the school categories this weekend. S2 is Phoenix from, you guessed it, Pembroke School. Pembroke again. And uh, S1, uh, Highgate Hot Rod from Highgate School. Now, they won uh, the Bend event last time as well, so back in May. So I remember uh, a viewer on our channel actually commented saying they're from that team. So there you go. If you're watching, hello. Wow. So, uh, yeah, fantastic weekend overall. It was a faultless weekend apparently as well because May we had some timing issues and stuff. Uh, apparently there was no dramas whatsoever. Uh, everyone had a fantastic time. It was fantastic. Um, but the thing is now uh, in a couple of weeks' time they go to Bustleton in WA for round five. But uh, for majority of the teams, however, it's the next round is Murray Bridge, the 24 hour race at the That's end of crazy. September. That's going to be epic. We're only about six weeks away now. Um, I think 41 days, I think, was the 
estimate there, but uh, that's a fantastic event. So this is a great this event uh, is a great opportunity for all the teams um, to prepare themselves for the big twenty four hour because, like I said, um, the Victoria Park it was all split up, so mm. not. So some people actually, like, for example, my old school, Endeavour College, they actually started their season in Victoria Park where they didn't have the uh, the C7, C6 sort of the, the, the prototypes, if you want to call yes. it. That's basically for those endurance listeners. Uh, basically, the C7 up to f uh, five is like the Le Mans prototype sort of thing. And the S3 is like GTs. But that gives you some sort of. Yeah, but um, yeah, no. So this round was a great opportunity for new people, for example, new kids, and um, to experience what it's like racing against these fast guys. Yeah, because um, you do want to make sure you you're out of their way when it when it comes to uh, racing, especially Murray Bridge, where it's a lot more narrow. Uh, obviously, the bend because it's a racetrack, it's a lot more open. Yes, uh, you can easily go off and so same rules, lost right? Forever. You get the yellow, you get the blue flag. Yeah. obviously you got to move out of the way. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay, stay to your, stay to your lane and yeah, pretty much. Um, let blue, the others come through. It's more like common sense in this one. Blue yeah. flags don't really exist. You just like. Um, you can see them coming. Exactly. Yeah. And the guys at the front, they've done it for years and years and years. So they know what they're doing. Yep. So there you go. But uh, now another fantastic weekend for Pedal Free and uh, can't wait for when they head to Murray Bridge for the famous Australian International Pedal Free. That'll, 